conflict in Sudan's southern Kordofan and Blue Nile states has pushed hundreds of thousands of people to flee into refugee camps in South Sudan. It's affecting nearly a million people, and civilians from both states told us they've been subjected to constant shelling and aerial bombardments, sometimes up to seven or ten times a day. Tahani Nurin's daughter was killed in a bombing. You can see here the barrel dropped and just a few hundred meters away another one. It's hard to describe, but the area around here is completely flattened and burned as a result of these bombings. These are incredibly crude weapons, but they do an incredible amount of damage. The Sudanese government says that it's fighting um, armed rebellion uh, in southern Kordofan and, and Blue Nile, and it is bombing uh, these rebel-held areas. But it's the civilians who bear the brunt of this conflict. This place, people in both states told us that government forces and allied militia had attacked their villages and burned homes and stolen livestock. The government of Sudan should immediately stop bombing indiscriminately in civilian areas. Sudan also should allow international organizations to provide much needed humanitarian aid to all of those people immediately.